So a lot of you have been putting in a lot of time with your C star and just getting hours of data, and, and that's fantastic. But, but you've also been running into a problem where if you exceed more than 2,048 images and you run the serial script, it throws an error message. That error message is Windows only, first of all. So if you're running on Linux or Mac, you won't have this issue. But Windows only allows you to have 2,048, no more than 2,048 files open at a time. So the workaround for that is to create what's called a fits sequence. So you can have as many files as you have, thousands of them, as long as you have the computing power the script will run now. So what I've done is I've taken the original C star script that I covered in my uh, previous video that came from the serial developers themselves, and I've just made a minor change to it so it'll create that fifth sequence file for you. So this is just a quick video just to show you guys where to get the script from and how it works real quick. I'm making the assumption here that if you're watching this video, you've had this problem, which also means that you know how to install scripts and you know how to process that you've seen my previous video. If not, I'll leave a link up here, also down in the description to that video that covers the original script. So let's get to it. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, so just to show you what we're working with here, this is going to be my working directory in serial. If you look down here on the bottom left, you can see I have 2,185 files. So those are all the images. So the first thing you need to do is just grab the script. Right now, I'm just hosting it on my OneDrive account. I'll leave the link down in the description. Come over here, click download. So again, this is in a start to finish video. I'm making the assumption you guys know how to install your scripts. If not, again, watch the original C star script that I have linked below. But that's the, the name of the new script. I suffixed it with GT2048, uh, GT for greater than and 2048 for the number of files. So it kind of makes it sound like a race car, right? Anyways, <laughs> grab the script, put it in your script directory for Cyril and then run Cyril. Just like always, we'll set our home directory first for what we're going to be working on here. So I have my borrowed data of the C-Star still from the last video that we did. So for those of you that have not seen this error yet, because you have not gone across that 2048 file limit in Windows, I'll just run the, the original script that Cyril put together for everybody for the C-Star and show it to you. So that's right here, C-Star pre-processing. And if you run it, Almost immediately, you see the error message over here in red about the maximum number of open files, 2,048, is larger than the required number, 2,185. That latter number is the number of images that I showed you guys over here in my working directory, so that's what it's referring to. So again, the, the new script gets around this by putting everything into a fit sequence file. So you'll end up with one file instead of multiple files as it's going through its processing. So th there's nothing special to it. Just run the script. There it is, C-Star pre-processing GT 2048, and let it do its thing, depending on the processing power of your machine and, and how many files that you have. This could take a while. Okay, the script has completed, and all I need to do now is just go through normal processing. We'll just open it up real quick just to show you. This is the Orion Nebula, like I said, was sent in to me by one of the viewers. Uh, so you're all set. So that script should take care of the problem that you guys have been having when you have more than 2,048 files. Before you go, I just want to show you real quick in the process directory. So just like always, the script will create a process directory where it is converting the files and stacking them and doing some pre-processing for you. If you open this up, you'll see you have one single light.fit file. This is the fit sequence, right? And you'll notice with the original script and with all the scripts that do this, you always see a light file in here for each of the images. This puts all the images into one file. So don't let that fool you when you see just one file that it's not taking up a lot of space. It's still taking up a lot of space. So it's just allowing you to use more than that 2,048 images. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. I know there's been quite a few questions around the error message that some of you have been seeing when you exceed that 2,048 image threshold. Uh, the other thing too, you don't have to go back and forth between the original C-Star script and this script that we covered today. You can use this one that we covered today for all your C-Star processing if you want. It'll just put everything into that single file, which you may not be used to seeing in your process directory, but it doesn't hurt anything. So you can go back and forth between the two, or or you can just stick with the one that we modified so it handles going over that threshold that Windows has on us. I hope you guys find this video helpful. We'll see you on the next one in clear skies.